grandma, grandpa, I hope you're listening. I know it's been a while since we've talked, and a lot has changed in my life. Things are going pretty good. I mean, look at me now. I'm still just trying to finish school. Grandma, you'll be happy to know that I've continued with my French education, still with immersion. And funny enough, I ended up going to that high school right across the street from where you used to live. Sometimes I'll look out the window and I'll see that soccer field. And I'll see that park and I'll remember playing there with you. Do you remember that? And Grandpa, I know we don't really have memories together because I was still so young when you passed away. But that doesn't mean I've forgotten you. You see, my mom has always told me stories about you. She says that I remind her a lot of you and that we would have gotten along really well. But I didn't need her to tell me that, for me to know it was true. I just wanted to tell you both, I miss you. As a young boy, I often talked with my mother about her parents. My grandfather died when I was still a baby, and my grandmother died just seven years later. These were my only experiences with death. And so, being the curious young boy I was, I had a lot of questions. But my mom would always assure me that they were up there looking down. She said that they were my guardian angels. So a lot of times when I was feeling nervous or sad, I'd just take a private moment and I'd speak with them like I just did. And I'd find some comfort in that. But what I really wanted, and what I still want, was a face-to-face -face conversation. Because you don't always get those opportunities. So we should take advantage of the time we have to talk. Since the time I was able to speak, I've been obsessed with the art of conversation. I loved to talk with people. It didn't matter who. In fact, I found that often, the people we least expect have the best conversations. As humans, we have a tendency to dismiss or, or ignore people that we don't know because we don't think we'll have enough in common with them. But if we look hard enough, we can find parallels with just about anyone. We can all learn from each other. But I'm not claiming to be perfect. There have been many times in my life when I've dismissed the advice of those older than me because I thought they were stuck in the past and they didn't understand. Even my own parents sometimes, the people I'm supposed to trust most in this world. And even today, Still, I, I'm lucky enough to have grandparents alive on my father's side. But if you were to ask me how often I talk to them, I'm ashamed to say it, but the honest answer is maybe once every three months. That's just no good. Because every generation is different. And it's because of these differences that we're able to define our, define our generations. Without these differences, civilization would remain completely stagnant. You know, believe it or not, humans have been along, around for a long time. They've made mistakes, and they've learned from them. They've built the world as we know it, and they've passed that information on to us. And so we should learn from them, because no one generation has all the answers to life's big questions. My dad would often joke that as you grow older, you gain wisdom. But at the same time, you lose your ability to use that wisdom. And so, you try and pass it on to those younger than you, so they can take advantage of it. But they're not interested in listening. And although he disguises this as a joke, I think it's a true and very unfortunate comment about the way our generations interact. We should learn from them, share our ideas. Every generation has a story, ourselves included. And so we should talk, because if we don't start talking now, time will run out. However, it's very important to remember that the stream of knowledge flows both ways. As youth, we have just as much to teach those older than us as they have taught us. We've grown up in a new world we have so much accessible to us. 
We offer a new perspective on life. And we have different ways of seeing things. And so, all I want you to take from this is very simple. Take time to talk with people younger and people older. Look through their perspective. Find the parallels in your lives. But take note of the differences. Because this is how we're going to learn. This is how we can move forward. This is how we can solve those big questions. So yes, do talk. And do it soon. Because if we don't start talking now, soon we'll be talking to ourselves. Thank you.